look at that. It's an article by Sarah Stan. You mean Sarah Palin? She says that kids who play video games have better hand-eye coordination. Nonsense. You know what? Everybody knows that it's real experiences that build character. Come on, son. Let's go fishing with a 12-gauge. Guess who's sleeping on the couch tonight? Hmm. A parenting site. Hmm, let's see. Parenting's for actual dummies. So it says right here, parents let children experiment with controlled substances. Huh. Funny. with me. Left in bed 2, Prism 4, Kingdom Kidneys, Grand Theft Airplane, First Fantasy 8, Penguin Massacre 4, and my favorite, The Legend of Helga. <clears throat> we'll get your shoes and in 10 minutes we'll be going and when we get back we'll be a surprise for you. I'm Stan the Video Game Man. If you need some assistance, I'll help if I can. Now go on now, browse my shelves. Come on now, help yourselves! Hmm, let's start with the gory section, and then we can move to the warfare, and then the 18 and older. You have to pay for that! So why did we go to that guy again? Eh, because his games are free. The running away was just for fun. Oh, <laughs> that was. What are you looking at? The clouds. <laughs> so do you want your surprise? <gasps> what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Here you go, the chemistry teacher at ASU gave these to me. He said you would like them. Mmm, these are really good. Alaskan Governor Sarah Palin. Now, Sarah, I hear you're interested in a very controversial issue. Yes. Can you tell us about it? Well, I'm not fully supportive of the idea, but it's that children who play video games develop hand-eye coordination and exceptional on-the-spot decision-making skills. But you said you were for the theory. I am. Well, what is the support of the theory? I don't necessarily support it, but the logic seems logical. Do you support it or not? <laughs> like I said, the logic seems logical, but it also seems not logical. Okay, what evidence is there to support this theory? Some kids benefited, others didn't. It was about half and half. 
How does a 50-50 ratio support the idea? I do not support the theory. All right then, what happened to the kids who didn't benefit? We advise them to seek professional help. we have time for on interviews with Parker Walters. Join us tomorrow when we interview someone smart. Yep, Ellen said that 50% of the people need psychiatric help. <laughs>